Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is Mirgloff Builds. And in today's video, we're going to be building a... Actually, two buildings. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a two-part thing. But we're going to be making a fishmonger and a smokehouse. Which is all going to be part of the process of uh, how fish that are caught and are processed and then sold in the town of Greenstone. And... The smokehouse and fishmonger are going to be separate buildings. The fishmonger is going to be next to the other uh, retail places, the other shops in the town of Greenstone. And the smokehouse is going to be either over there in that corner or over here. I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm going to build the fishmonger first. And if you're a builder, stick around for the uh, afterwards to see the changes I've done off camera, but we're going to start building the fishmonger now.
Alright, so I finished both buildings, the fishmonger and the smokehouse. We'll take a look at the fishmonger first. And it's got the similar layout to how I generally do uh, general stores, small retail stores, shops. But uh, I made a upgrade to uh, how I have previously done uh, shelves that stock the store's goods. And I've added a little chest there so that I can put stuff in there. I don't have any fish to put in there at the moment, but I will eventually. And I did a few things. I uh, you can't really tell from in here actually, but uh, I used some of the uh, upside down stair block, stair blocks that you can do with in 1.2. And I've used ha a a pattern of half stone blocks and regular uh, wood blocks as you can see there and we'll take a look at the smokehouse and the smokehouse uh, is called the salty tackle box smokehouse as opposed to the fishmonger just being called the fishmonger as there isn't really anything unique about the fishmonger other than it uh, sells fish instead of being a craftsman or a grocer or a bakery as the uh, smokehouse is fairly neat unique so far and as I haven't built anything like it bef previously this is where the fish would be smoked from raw fish into cooked fish and now we'll take a look at the stuff I've done off camera. Alright, so one of the things that I've done off camera is I've made this, uh, the top of this uh, uh, Goodman's Ghast completely white wool as opposed to uh, the ramsackle uh, gray wool I used when I ran out of white wool, white wool when uh, during the video that I made this. Also there's a uh, you can kind of see some changes I've done over there. Not that this structure, the uh, mob grinder, counts, because I'm going to be completely destroying it when I'm done with it, but I'm still collecting uh, gunpowder to make TNT. It's not going as fast as I thought it would. But I thought I would point that out. Also, I did extend the tentacles to Goodman's Ghast. We'll see that in just a second as I dig down there we go and then and pretty much the rest of what I did was uh, mostly agricultural I did repair at that corner right there that was uh, blown up a bit from when I was putting torches on the some of these roofs and a creeper exploded and I didn't really bother with fixing it for quite a long time but oh, hold on there's a that skeleton in my farm but uh if uh i hope you enjoyed these videos uh, if you did go ahead and leave a comment and thanks for watching see you next time